You're learning from your mistakes. You're modifying your editing. So go back and go piece by piece, step by step to get the correct number. It's a lesson in programming that gets the students thinking about the process of engineering. And so giving them that chance to just tinker and play around and then watching a video and then, you know, making mistakes, learning from your mistakes, trial and error, and then, you know, those types of perseverance. Um, great way for the kids to uh, experience hands-on working with computers and robotics at an introductory level. It starts off by building the actual robot using Legos. It's kind of easy since, I, since I've had Legos since I was like five. And then it's all about using the computer. I like it a lot. My favorite part is the programming part. And getting the robot to move just the way you want it to. Is that why it was... Is that why I kept missing it? Correct. And we've been working on programming it and uh, making it um, on this little obstacle course thing where you have to knock down the tire and drive more and then knock down the other tire. <laughs> No matter what their academic level, they can all succeed in this. It's, uh, it's easy and it's fun for them to do. It's a 10-day project that all of the fourth grade classrooms at Baxter Elementary got to experience. So amazed, it just, they just flocked to it, they took to it, and everything we did, they just they wanted and they wanted to do more, and it was just so much fun. And it's amazing because kids today now, they're watching YouTube to learn. And so that's what we're doing here, is they're going to a website to get YouTube videos, and then they apply what they know from those. A skill that they can take with them to Forest View Middle School with their Lego Robotics Competition Program. Reporting in Baxter, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News.